All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a 2v2 matchup here to, on Ironshire. Razor Moon and a Dice going up against Krav and Starbuck. All right. Um, we have, well, Krav spawning as the yellow undead here, and Starbuck spawning as the yellow undead going up against Razor Moon or Dice spawning as the blue night elf, and, well, Razor Moon spawning as the blue night elf as well. What? With the, maybe I should play with the colors a little bit better. Yeah, all, since we know that it is Night Elf versus Undead, we don't really need team colors. Actually need a better way to differentiate units between Starbuck and Krav, Dice and Razor Moon. So I'll go ahead and leave this as is. Now, um, four spawning locations, um, well, making this weird kind of plus sign in the middle. I don't believe I've actually cast a game on Ironshire 1.1 um, as of yet. And um, you have relatively um, even distances all across the board. Uh, trips trying to move diagonally, um, you have to go around either along this back corridor here or through the center. So um, traveling across the map only a little bit further than trying to cross diagonally just because of the way um, ground units have to walk. Of course, that all changes once we have some flying units. But then again, in 2v2, uh, well, it takes a little bit longer to tech as early army rushes are uh, happening much more often. Ancient of War, um, well, aggroed against this enraged elemental here. You can see a couple of null brutes. This is a, what, 3-3-3-4 three, 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 creep camp. That additional enraged elemental actually make it a bit scary as the archer purposely pulls all the way back here to try and keep this Ancient of War fairly well protected. He does have fortified armor and is currently only taking piercing damage, but that damage does add up over time. Death Knight of Starbuck, perhaps going to try and venture forth, does have doubt double sacrificial skulls and do we see an additional acolyte perhaps going to try and set up some towers that is the question here demon hunter being forced to retreat back here again hasn't even really started creeping with even though he has that ancient of war already in place however what razor moon going to be changing things up here going for a black arrow strategy and because well it's once again going to get disrupted by Krav. One skeletal minion down here, there, that's going to be a large number of ghouls. If he had two or three lesser dark minions, that may have actually worked out well as these ghouls could have slowly been taken out. All right, Death Coil going to save that low hit point ghoul already as the units are racking up quite a bit of damage. There's a bit of blight. Are we going to see a skeletal minion? Yes, we are. And in comes some tower attempt from Krav dual tower attempt detonation coming across to remove some of that blight as that acolyte is trying to stay alive this is like trying to cast two tower attempt 1v1 games at the same time as the ancient of war rooting itself in position to stop this tower here meanwhile this ancient of war has not been unable to up uproot as the demon hunter now trying to fall back again coming back around dark ranger Perhaps going to be able to finish off some units. There goes a Dust of Appearance taking down one of those archers. There goes another Skeletal Minion trying to pop back up those blue shields versus those orange shields. Who is going to come out on top as the archer needs to heal up as well. Ancient of War trying to take down some of these ziggurats um, as the damage is slowly going to um, add up again. Meanwhile, where is that Dark Ranger? Dark Ranger is still out here as the Death Knight with all of those Death Coils able to keep up these units alive and well. We are now looking into a Nerubian Tower second Ancient of War in position to try and take it down another ziggurat here. Meanwhile, off to the north side, we are looking at a ziggurat to Nerubian Tower, Scroll of Town Portal, Death Coil, or Scroll of Town Portal trying to save here as there's just a massive number of ghouls. Ancient Protectors are trying to be placed down there. There goes another Death Coil again as the Wisps are making their way around. Nerubian Tower is now done. That deals normal damage. The Spirit, um, the... Yeah, d b both dealing normal damage against the archers. Archers are actually um, going to suffer a d bonus damage from the 9 to 10 up to 18 to 20. That's not something you see very often. Uh, Nerubian Tower is just towering up dice in this spot. Meanwhile, back across on the other side... Um, well, Krav really pushing in hard against Razor Moon. Razor Moon could be in a bit of trouble, even with dual Ancients of War trying to knock down these Nerubian Towers. May not have enough to really fight off against all of these units. The Dark Ranger needed about another 20 seconds or so to build up a significant skeletal minion army, or a lesser dark minion army, to really be able to combat against what we're seeing here. Death Knight 
nearly at level two. Dark Ranger currently strong at level two, but does it really matter here as the archers are going to try and shadow melt? Are they going to shadow melt in time? No, they are not. All right, level two now on to that Death Knight as a ghoul could end up getting, some of these ghouls could end up getting taken down. Back off to the north side here. Dice's base is looking, well, very, very much smaller than it was before. I was thinking that Starbuck and Krav might be trying to do that tower attempt early when they went double sacrificial skulls, but it seemed so preposterous at the time. Ancient of Wars trying to well, check things here. A ghoul going to get taken down. A Dark Ranger now stuck between a Nerubian Tower and those Moon Walls will force a scroll of Town Portal down to 13, 15 hit points. Well, I forgot that the Blight is actually helping the Dark Ranger regenerate hit points. The Dark Ranger regenerates hit points much more quickly while on Blight. And that's actually what's been keeping the Dark Ranger alive, um, al alive a little bit while standing on this Blight as long as it has. And the fact that the Death Knight cannot use Death Coils to finish off the Dark Ranger either. Back across off to the north, dual Ancient Protectors trying to protect here. Meanwhile, do we see some Glaive Throwers? Yes, we do. Dice able to place down a Glaive Thrower and now forcing the, forcing the unsummoning of these Nerubian Towers. All right, this has been quite a strange opening. Six minutes and 30 seconds into this game. And now, well... The tower attempts look like they could be successful, but hats off to both uh, Razor Moon and Dice being able to defend their base at home. Now, what has Starbuck and Krav done during this time? Well, Krav started his tech to tier 2 a little bit later. Starbuck is already there could and is now already training up his Lich as that follow-up hero. Meanwhile, Death Knight are going to get creepjacked here by the Dark Ranger. Are we going to see some big damage coming back across here? Perhaps finishing off some more of these more of these minions. Who's going to end up getting taken down first? Archers are getting cleaned up. There's Scroll of the Beast being used here as we are looking at, well, dark minions just popping up out of the ground. That is a lot of skeletal minions here. And the army of, of Razor Moon is just continuing to grow more and more as those ghouls are getting taken out. All right, Death Knight coming back around here. Um, Death Knight and Death Knight working together should be able to get some Death Quells off on each other. There's going to be a 400 hit point heal. Why isn't there a 400 hit point heal? I'm not quite sure as this Death Knight of Krav could actually end up getting taken down as well. Skeletal Minions come in for the save there. We also see the Assassin with that bit of poison was hired up by Razor Moon. All right, Dark Ranger now getting up to level four and does have access to level two silence. Oh, silence perhaps was cast, preventing that heal right there as we are also going into some kobold geomancers. Lich looking to do some creeping as well at that three o'clock spot. Meanwhile, well, Dice bringing about these ancient protectors and ancients of war, trying to level up with that demon hunter and this archer army. Coming back around, Death Knight of Krav trying to disrupt Razor Moon. Razor Moon can't... Well, Razor Moon's, I believe, his dark minions are actually a bit stronger and, well, definitely more numerous than his opponents right now. You can take a look at this entire front line position here. Dark Ranger now using that... Um, using that replenishment potion to get enough mana so that more of these lesser dark minions or dark minions can be popped out onto the ba battlefield 15 to 17 damage per attack that is significant damage over those ghouls as we're finally seeing level two on starbucks lich level two death knight level two lich a wand of mana stealing picked up by the lich right there perhaps handed off to the death knight death knight really needs level three if starbuck and krav don't um, want to let go of their early early advantage bottom left hand side of the map ancient of war absorbing quite a bit of damage here you can see the dark minions still wandering around Dark Ranger uh, is getting a little bit of a bonus experience because solo hero um, at Tree of Ages is it should be enough to get to level five here. And well, and actually, well, let's see, 56 more experience needed. Dark Ranger, yes, will in fact get there off of this Ogre Warrior. And there is going to be a large number of these Dark Minions. Are we going for level three Silence over level three Black Arrows as the Ancient of War? And well lumbers on over coming back around here 
Forest Troll, Shadow Priest, Archers, Demon Hunter trying to retreat back. We do see some Goblin Sappers. A lot of units could get trained up here in just a moment as some damage could be added in. Where is the Goblin Sapper? Goblin Sapper going to try to make their way across here as they're going to be able to find their target and now take down perhaps one if not two of these Ziggurats. We are getting some repairs already by Krav to try and keep this alive and well as the as the acolytes are now going to slowly get cleaned up all right are we going to see some more black arrow targets get spawned out uh, no um, the black arrow debuff just not lasting long long enough goblin zeppelin trying to pick up the last remaining units and retreat back away down to 245 hit points and with no gargoyles and no sight above the tree line though the zeppelin will be able to bring these units back home safely all right Undead army on the move towards Razor Moon's base here. A couple of dryads here. Moon wells are fairly empty as we are going into nightfall. So those will be able to fill up semi quickly as this is a well massive undead army making its way in the, into the position here. Demon Hunter. Well, getting off a nice little mana burn there. Perhaps needs to mana burn off all of these targets. Simply too many targets to try and go after as the Dark Ranger unloads and is trying to fight back. 31 supply. Now going back the other way, the two armies now fighting together. Ancient of War easily going to get cleaned up as the An Ancient of War and Ancient of Lore off in the front could, well, have had better days. Dual Obsidian statues by Krav and Starbuck keeping the armies topped off and alive or triple Obsidian statues here as the Demon Hunter really needs to try and mana burn down um, and get in some full mana burns on those secondary heroes as well. Still repairs are getting underway. Um, well, there's a big Frost Nova onto the Demon Hunter here. Demon Hunter trying to retreat back. Is he going to be able to survive? Glaive Throwers are down as well. Dark Ranger trying to fight back the other way. And with the Dark Ranger being undead, he does she does benefit from not being able to be a Death Coil target. But that just puts more pressure on to the other heroes as well. Death Knight now. Well... Death Knight now chasing after some other units. Undead. Well, that first tower attempt did not seem to work. Naga Sea Witch actually falling for um, the Night Elf dice as things are just starting to fall apart for the Night Elf armies. All right. Dryads, archers trying to fight, to be fight back together. Gargoyles, Crypt Fiends continuing to push on that front door. Meanwhile, Ancient of War now taken down as well. Are we going to see some more damage? Yes, another 54-point mana burn. Uh, always constantly making sure that the Death Knight doesn't land a Death Coil but um, there are other available targets as well 40 over 70 supply currently for razor moon meanwhile we're looking at 37 over 60 it feels like undead has the larger army and still after all this time as well night elf was forced to rebuild a bit of infrastructure lich now getting up to level three we could be seeing some a, a bit more here dark ranger gonna go ahead and try and teleport back the other way if the dark ranger actually gets a charm that may change um the outcome of the battle as that charm cooldown is just very very quick we are at tree of ages so um well a little bit of bonus experience is going to be constant naga sea which uh, for the yellow team falls at level two demon hunter still being able to heal back up and now having access to the ancient of wonders is a big deal as well. Naga Sea Witch falls again at level 1. Meat Wagon now trying to make its way back over and uh, well, it's trying to lob in a bit of attacks as well. Dry continuing to try and fight as we see. Yes, Charm has come online. Razor Moon does have a Destroyer now and should be able to go after those Obsidian Statues. Going after Obsidian Statues, going after um, going after the Meat Wagons, that's going to be some a very big deal as the Destroyer now looking to retreat back once more. There's a Staff of Preservation for the save there as the Dryads are trying to hold the front door. That well, Destroyer still needs to continue to play a very big role at taking down Obsidian Statues and Meat Wagons while protecting themselves from those Gargoyles. All right, engagement underway. Um, it really feels like Razor Moon's been playing a very, very strong game and, and has been leading the charge here. Destroyer trying to come back around, perhaps trying to get some easy damage onto some of those targets as the well, Obsidian Statue and... Is the Meat Wagon still here? No, yes. Meat Wagon is still here. Dark Ranger still trying to stick around as we see another charm. Crypt Fiend now getting grabbed in as well. So just buying potions of mana from the Ancient of Wonders and then being able to instantly uh, grab another tart or grab another unit is a very big deal. Gargoyle still playing tier as we see there goes that Meat Wagon. All right, Glaive Throwers, Ancient Protector fighting their way back. Ancient of War fighting amongst all of these units. Dark Ranger, another 22 seconds before another... Uh, 
um, another charm is available. Death Knight still trying to dive on in here as the Destroyer could go after perhaps the Obsidian statues that are holding this army together since it does have magic attack. Lich, um, well, going to get a Death Coil for a pretty much full hit point heal as the Dark Ranger now tries to retreat back here. Oh, another three or four seconds. Are we going to see another Destroyer perhaps um, um, con controlled magic there trying to find the perfect time to try and control magic those units. Meanwhile, Ancient Protector, Naga Sea Witch, off to the north here. Gargoyle is trying to switch around to the far side. The Destroyers are here. We're seeing some of those Ancient Protectors. What is going down there as the Destroyer trying to fall back again? Those Gargoyles um, really just massing up in numbers, able to counter Razor Moon's um, lone Destroyer right now as the Dark Ranger is looking for another target to try and, con um, uh, try and charm, but has not been able to do exactly that. Ancient Protectors, more you and Dry is still trying to push back in the other way. You can see the dual, uh, the additional economy of the night off as they have expos here and here it really allowing them to hold on slowly Demon Hunter continuing the fight here, already up to level 5. There's a big 150-point mana burn finishing off one of those obsidian statues as the Ancient Protectors are looking to shut down all of those gargoyles. It looks like that may be enough. Dark Ranger did get in another charm. Not quite sure what it was. The Death Knight now using Cloak of Shadows to try and stay alive as, um, well, is now needing to retreat back. There's another silence there, that level 3 silence pretty much lasting forever and a day, causing so many problems. All right. Dark Ranger continuing that battle there. There is another charm. Level 2, Naga Sea Witch falling. There goes another Obsidian statue. And that was a beautiful hold by Razor Moon and Dice. Those addi the additional economy may have been the, the drastic difference here as they were able to set up those Expos at, while Krav and Starbuck were unable to close out the game. Beautiful game between Razor Moon, Dice, Starbuck, and Krav. And yeah, that game felt longer than the 16 minutes that it was. Let me know what you guys thought about the game in the comments below.